complete training step by step we will discuss five examples we already done three examples and now we are discussing how to create a drop down list in google sheet so we have this data and uh, here you can see once we change the drop down list so we get the right information according to our requirement with the help of vlookup formula so this drop down list we will create uh, and with with the with data source so this will be a uh, drop down list with data source and in previous example we already done how to create a drop down list with data source on excel and uh, the second training we have done uh, drop down list without data source so here you can see uh, in this example we have data but in drop down list but uh, not from the data source it has this change from the data source here you can see we have pakistan canada as well uh, but which is not in the data so this is with the out data source drop down list and then fourth example we will discuss on google sheet how to create a drop down list in google sheet with data source so we have this data and once we change the data uh, rank number so we will get the right result before starting the video, I want you to comment your country name as I want to know where are you from and tell me in comment what kind of project you want to solve. Yes, definitely I will reply you and help you in your project. Don't forget to subscribe, it's free. If you want me to solve your complete project, visit mjonlinehometutor.com. How to create a drop down list in Google Sheet? Here without data, with data source, sorry so here you can see the drop down list is not available we will create right now once we change the data number here so we get the right result so for that we need to create drop down list so we can change it by click without writing it this is the vlookup formula so we will apply here so we can get the right result for the right rank number so we need to open the data then data validation and then here we have a cell range <coughs> where we need a drop down list so here we have e6 e6 and the range we need to have list from the range we will select here and we need to select the range for, for that we need to have data in the drop down list so is a6 to a15 then we can save it and we can get drop down list here and uh, we have some or more option in drop down list uh, just uh, watch this so we have uh, apply here here you can see once we change the drop down list number so we can get the right result for the selected rank so we have created a right drop down list with data source now i'm going to change the creating it again and we will i will show you some more options of drop down list which is very helpful for you uh, you can write some text uh, or information here with the drop down list menu which will help a user to use the excel sheet or google sheet so we will go on data and data validation here we select again the cell number and the range of the drop down list data source so data source will be same a6 to a15 uh, we have complete training of it so you can watch uh, that also here you can see so here are some options here we can write some information for the user so let's say we will write here we are discussing uh, about the ranking of the country via visitor so we can write here as uh, add add rank number here so we can add a rank number or select the rank number according to our requirement to look up the right country name according to the ranking 
so we have some other options as well for the uh, drop down list so you i really recommend you to watch complete training of the drop down list in which we will discuss other options as well that is very very important for you so here you can see we have uh, uh, selected the rank number in this training we discuss drop down list and we look up for blog. you can watch complete training of drop down list with complete options and we also recommend you to watch complete training of we look up which is very important for every excel and google sheet user in the professional environment